Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Muhammad Ikhwan. Um, I'm final year of PhD student, and I supervised by Professor Steve Eichhorn and Professor Richard Trash. So I would like to talk about uh, my project that, uh, with the title of Cellulose Nanocrystalline Post-Electron Composite Nanofiber. So this is the introduction of my uh, research. So the result background is the the viability of agriculture waste such as oil palm empty fruit punch in our country in Indonesia that has some potential as a raw material for producing a solutional crystal. And also the solutional crystal also, uh, has a potential as use as an enforcement for the electrospan composite nanofiber and also can use to improve the fracture toughness of composite laminate. Uh, the aim of my research is to study the enforcement potential of CNC from a commercial product and an PFP on electrospan composite nanofiber and composite laminate. Um, yeah. So this is my experience. I thought we start with the isolation of CNC from uh, oil palm and different bunch by extraction the cellulose pulp and uh, continue with uh, isolating the cellulose crystal with the acid hydrolysis process. So in this state, we can produce the kind of uh, cellulose nanocrystal from oil palm waste by modifying the uh, extraction process. Uh, so we can get the uh, cellulose nanocrystal with the uh, alumor type 1 and alumor type 2. And then we use the cellulose nanocrystal as the reinforce for the cellulose acetate butyrate matrix to produce the electrospun nanofiber composite. So we use the emulsion electro spinning method and produce the electrospun nanofiber composite uh, with the aligned fiber and also a random fiber mat. And after that, we uh, use the cellulose acetate and CNC nanofiber mat as interleaf in the epoxy carbon laminate. And, and then we testing the interlaminar fracture toughness, mod 1 and mod 2 for the CAB and CNC that uh, interleaf into the epoxy carbon laminate. So the result of our CNC, uh, we can see here the uh, OPAB CNC has a uh, different morphology compared to the commercial. They have a little bit higher aspect ratio. And also, uh, we can produce the different type of alarm of CNC. We have a, a CNC alarm of type 1 and also a CNC alarm of type 2, which is uh, similar to the commercial product. And yeah, we said the higher aspect ratio, but we uh, oil palm CNC has a lower surface chart. So it will have uh, some impact to the mechanical properties there. And here in the figure four, you can see this typical stress strength curve of CIB and CNC of random and aligned no fiber composite with the different sensory type and different sensory form fraction. And you can see here then that uh, for aligned fiber, they have uh, better uh, mechanical properties than optimum in uh, at 1% uh, form fraction. And the test of the internal manufacturer test for mod one and mod two. Uh, for mod one, uh, we can see that in the zero uh, direction of interleaf, we, uh, we get uh, some decreasing of the uh, fracture toughness, but in for the 90 degrees orientation of interleaf, we can see there is uh, some improvement of fracture toughness. And also for the uh, mod two in fracture toughness, we can get uh, both of direction, they can improve the fracture toughness of the laminate. So for the conclusion, the reinforcement of capability of commercial CNC as filler 
in electrons spot composition of fiber at one percent full fraction is higher than OPFP CNC type two than OPFP type one, and the living of CSP CNC composite nanofiber at one percent full fraction improve in telomere fracture toughness mode one and mode two for epoxy carbon laminate. And also the delivery of orientation of 90 degrees to carbon propagation improve in, uh, terminal factor toughness mode one and mode two effectively than zero uh, degree direction. And I would like to uh, underline uh, to LPDP, that's a uh, Indonesian Endowment Fund for Publication that support my research and study in the WHO. And thank you very much for your attention.